In this small video, let's talk about engagement rings in sterling silver. Now I think, if I was to give you an engagement ring in sterling silver and say, that's it, it's in sterling silver, that's what we're getting married with, <laughs> my chances of scoring are pretty low. Possibly. But, <laughs> if I give you a lovely engagement ring in sterling silver with a big gemstone, and it's a real gemstone, and say, look, this is just till we can afford it, or this is till we go out together and spend you know, a good couple of months choosing the right engagement ring, then I'm... Yeah, I'm you'd, starting off. You'd be all right. I'm starting off yeah. in the right direction. So here's our advice on diamonds and sterling silver. Whilst they are very, very nice in terms of a secondary ring or something to wear to go out, they're not really going to cut the mustard as your out and out engagement ring because just historically in the UK, long term, those have to move across uh, into gold and the actual metal when you're talking about engagement rings compared to the cost of the diamond are only five to ten percent of the value of the ring the real cost and value comes of course in the diamond so our advice is this when it comes to sterling silver and diamonds get a ring when you want to propose that looks like a diamond ring but don't go and get a cz don't go and get a swarovski crystal don't get go and get something that's fake because how on earth can you get proposed with something that's fake i mean that's just a no-no no no, 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 no. So go and get a sterling silver ring with maybe a zircon, a natural zircon, or a white topaz, or a petalite, or a white sapphire, or any of those other genuine gemstones that have come from Mother Nature that have the same outward appearances of a diamond, but are still real. And set in sterling silver, so now you're paying £80, £90 for something that is real, but eventually you're going to replace it with a diamond. Yeah, and I think the most the, the most interesting thing as we as we talk about this, and I was talking to someone um, a few weeks ago, and actually showed them uh, a ring that that had a beautiful one carat zircon in it, and actually showed them it versus my diamond engagement ring. And in all honesty, whilst my my engagement ring is is beautiful. There was very little to be told between the two, apart from probably quite a few thousand pounds. Um, so this is why I know Steve is, Steve is right here. If it was up to me, I would go find something with either a really beautiful white topaz or a beautiful white zircon. Uh, propose with it because it will look very, very similar. And then you can then tell your fiance that this is this is your temporary ring, and this is until we go together and we choose something of your dreams that you know that you really want. But in the meantime, you've got something that still means something, that is still special, but it's just that kind of bridge in between finding that dream engagement ring. And in fact, if you read one of my books or if you visit the Gemporia website, I hope long term that I'll convert you <laughs> from the diamonds into the zircons. And let me just point out as well that we're talking natural, genuine zircons that have come out of the ground in countries like Tanzania, uh, that have come out of the ground in places like Cambodia, not man-made cubic zirconia. Cubic zirconia, or what they call CZ, is just made in a factory. It has no value, it has no sentimental value, it has no financial value. We're talking about genuine zircon that comes out of the ground. Zircon today, is the most amazing white gemstone. It outperforms a diamond, mm. it sparkles more than a diamond. And older. And older. <laughs> we found zircon once in Australia that was four billion years old. Wow. Now the oldest diamond on the planet, three and a half billion. So it's older, it sparkles more, it's many times rarer mm -hmm. than a diamond, and yet about one tenth of the price. Anyway, we're going off the ta <laughs> on a tangent here a little bit. Let's get back to your diamond engagement rings. Don't buy a diamond engagement ring in sterling silver because that's not the thing, but get her, her if you like, a pre-engagement ring that buys you a bit of time to check that she's the one, but also that you can then go out and uh, spend some time finding that perfect ring, which of course she's going to wear forever. Indeed. Because at the end of the day, we got engaged before we started making our own jewellery, <laughs> and my wife has probably said a hundred times, can she replace the diamond ring with one of her own designs? And of course say no, because this is a very important purchase that you're about to make.